Good morning, good morning. I hope you are all well and having an amazing Tuesday. Lulu Mins from Lulu Mins Coaching Limited here with you for a short live today, five or 10 minutes talking about why the future is emotional and why your business needs to be emotional. In an ever growing world of robots and computers and automations, we are all being called to step up and connect emotionally so hopefully some people will join me live if you are catching this on the replay please do press the love button the like button do comment let me know what your business is where you're watching from how your day is and how your business and can plug into emotion to raise what it is that you're doing, who it is that you're serving, and how it is that you're showing up. So I have had my heels in the ground for quite some time in terms of automations, Facebook advertising. I knew a couple of years ago it really wasn't the right time in my business and there was some resistance around that. And it's never something that I've massively used in my business in terms of automations, adverts and all of that stuff because I felt really called cool to build a business to lead from the heart, from my heart space because that has been a massive part of my journey in terms of 11 years as a criminal defence lawyer. I really had to tune in and connect with a deeper part of me first before I could connect on a deeper level with other people and their businesses. And that's why most people, well, everyone that works with me knows that I'm the right, right coach for them to really connect them with their heart space, to really connect them emotionally to their businesses, emotionally to their clients and emotionally to their why. Because there is no pro forma for that. There is no automation. There is no catch all scenario within that. And I know in the world of computers and robots, that is what's happening. So on a bigger level, we're being called to connect even more with ourselves, with nature, with our businesses, with who it is that we're serving and what it is that we're talking about. And it is that that will be the most powerful marketing and conversations that you ever have within a service-based business such as coaching or anything else that you're doing. And in fact, we are all being called to connect on a much deeper level because the world is going so crazy, crazy fast. It's going crazy fast. So we are being called to slow down, slow down and connect with ourselves, to connect with each other and to have real deep and meaningful conversations. So your clients are craving more intimacy. They're craving some romance from you. They're craving connection from you. They don't want to be thrown in to this big ball of whatever and chucked in a list and obviously we, we've got GDPR coming up at the moment as well um, which you know as a business owner is, is a bit of a pain in the ass but <laughs> at the same time you know it's really um, you know connecting with the, all these robots and automations and I've got emails that I can't unsubscribe from and they're not even things that I've even signed up for so there is a massive need for that. So your clients are asking for you to make meaning of things on a really deep level because there may be 10, 20, thousand, hundreds, whatever people doing what it is that you do. Um, again, as coaches, it can be a noisy online space at the moment. People are getting really overwhelmed by the noise. It's never been easier to have an online business, but it's never been harder as well. But if you are truly connected to yourself and your heart space and your emotions and connecting with people on that level and building community and making them feel connected and not just a number and not spamming and not chucking people in automations, not creating content that was never your content in the first place and it's always an interpretation of something but it's you going through a process in your own journey rather than just reading a book and then just you know reprocessing it out of there the future is emotional your businesses should be as well because when you're truly connected to it you're truly connected to your clients you're truly connected to your community you're truly connected to your packages and everything that it is you're doing then success will come to you. It has to come to you. So stop signing up for free opt-ins would be my advice. Stop signing up for, you know, learning the marketing skills of XYZ because if your heart isn't behind what it is that you're doing, then you're not going to have the success with it. And there've been really successful coaches and service-based businesses that have spent, you know, gone those amount of money on all of this stuff and they haven't got the success because they're not leading from the heart, not leading from the deeper she that knows, not dealing, de de um, uh, leading from their intimate self. So, you know, leading from the heart 
is where it's at. People are crying for more connection. We're more connected than ever in terms of online, but we're more disconnected from ourselves and each other than ever, which is why I have a daily tuning in practice to connect with myself, to connect to a deeper part of myself. So I can not only connect to my business and build my business from that space, but I can also connect to my amazing clients, potential clients, communities, and so forth. So I am bringing much more of that connection into Brighton um, in July 2018 and throughout the next year by its way of a series of workshops. So do keep an eye out for that because I'm going to be spend, uh, telling more of all about that and they're going to be super intimate, super high level and high vibe. So I'm super excited to be sharing more about that and I might post a link underneath when I reveal more about that next week. But also leading from the heart, the future being emotional and, and leading that from that space within your businesses is the second element of my Elevate Mastermind. I've only got um, potentially two after today places left on the Elevate Mastermind where we celebrate with a two day event in Goa um, at the end of 2018, four nights, three days in Goa. The, the event is gonna be for two days and then a day off and a celebration from there. You get six one-to-one -one high level coaching calls with me and you get six group calls with amazing high level women that not only have successful careers already or previous careers or they're still in their current careers, they're also building successful service-based, heart-based businesses. So you will if see a video down below as I'm talking about empowering your mind, empowering your beliefs. The second element is leading from the heart and the third is elevating your action. So I will do another video on that so you can hear more about the Elevate Mastermind. I'm gonna post below where you can apply for the Mastermind in those last two places where you can have a conversation with me to see if we're a right fit. Working with me is invitation via applica and application only, particularly with the mastermind as well, so you have to be a right fit for the programme and us a right fit for you. But I'm sure if what I'm talking about and you want to lead into a, 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 an emotional future with less automation, is the only hope for the human race that we lead with emotion. And as women, you know, it is the year of the woman, but more than that, it's women leading from emotion and our higher selves. And, you know, we have lived in a society, in a world for generations that values the mind over the the emotion, which is why women, I'm sorry, something's just popped up on there, which is why women um, are having a revolution now. And it is the revolution of women, but it is us leading from our heart space and showing the way to do that because we are emotional creatures. I heard once at a workshop and I thought it was fascinating. Um, it was a, it was a, a uh, networking event, a guy was talking about men and women, um, the divine masculine, the sacred masculine, the divine feminine, and he was saying how women create emotion first and then we attach a story to it from our mind um, because we're emotionally led. And I, I, I super connected with that. And men tend to create the story first because they're more mind led. Men, you know, love to protect and provide. So the mind protects. So men tend to be in their minds more. And they, hey Molly, hey gorgeous. And men tend to then, lovely to have you on live. Lovely, can't wait to speak to you tomorrow. Big love from you. Just talking about the future being emotional. And I was talking about the sacred masculine. So I know that's a topic you're very interested in. Protect and provide. So men lend to lead from the mind. Stories first. And then they attach emotion to those stories. Women, we naturally, we lead from emotion. And then we attach stories to it. But it's actually us leading from power of emotion. And, you know, in patriarchy, it's not been acceptable to lead from emotion. And that is the real revolution that we're seeing. It's not women wanting to run men down or anything like that. It's women wanting to lead as women, which is from emotion, which is from the heart, which is from being emotional. And I say that with big love and no disrespect to men whatsoever, because we all have a masculine and feminine energy. And we can all tune in with that. It's just that women are leading the way in how to tune in with that and lead from emotion. There are many men leading from emotion as well, but that is the space that we need to be leading from within our lives and our businesses. That is the only hope for the human race, by the way, as well. We can't leave with robots and computers and the mind and all of that for much longer because we're ruining the planet we live on. 
but it is also a basic level you showing up at that level that's what changes the world when we show up at one level and we encourage other people to do that and believe me when i say your business will massively benefit from you showing up within that heart-based energy within that emotional energy and leading from that not learning systems and funnels and all of that stuff because if your heart that's got a place within your business but if you're not leading from the heart leading from emotion leading from the feminine then the success will not come or you'll get to a certain point and then it will fall off so second element of elevate the mastermind super excited the future being emotional um, being really in alignment with that and leading from that and i hope my clients to being accountable to that as well as empowering their mind and elevating their actions and having all of that alignment where you get that flow and that ease and that magic that happens so if it sounds like this, that could be good for you, I would love to speak to you about the Elevate Mastermind. The link is going to be down below and do keep an eye out for workshops that I am going to be launching in Brighton, the first one in July. And then there's going to be a series of them throughout the year, which are going to be by invitation and application only. So big love from me. Have an amazing Tuesday and rest of the day. And do let me know. Um, in your comments, what takeaways you've had from this video, how it is that you're feeling today, how you wanna bring more emotional and heart space energy into your life and your business, and how you will see that massively impact. If you're not doing that, there's no system of funnel in the world that will help you create the life and business you love and um, help you connect on a deep and intimate and romantic level with your clients. That is what they want. They want you to be the person to really create that meaning for them in their life, in their business, in their health, whatever it is that you're working with them on. So big love from me. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.